When India's Defence Minister approved the Anka stealth fighter program with the stroke of a pen on May 27, 2025, was he signing a declaration of defence independence, or another $1.7 billion, pie in the sky, order? The smoke on the India-Pakistan border has not yet cleared. New Delhi can't wait to show the bottom of this 17 years. Anka advanced medium combat aircraft program, 1,500 billion rupees budget, 10-year research and development cycle, five prototypes of the bold planning. The surface of the Indian aviation industry's comeback, but actually penetrating a force into a desperate situation. The sadness, the reality of the Indian Air Force plight is hanging over the head of the sword of Damocles. 30 fighter squadrons is far below the establishment of 42 standards, at least eight squadrons face retirement in the next 10 years. The warehouse of the old Russian made MiG-29 and French Mirage 2000 and the neighboring J-20 and J-35 under the shadow of the more and more, appear to be unable to do. What makes India more fish in the throat is the total collapse of the two routes of outsourcing, with Russia's Su-57 project costing $6 billion, but even the core technology has not touched. In 2018, a complete break, turn to the United States to buy F-35. Not only is the delivery of a long way off, but also rumors of remote locking, rumors, so that Delhi cannot sleep well. Anchor this dangerous move, in essence, by the geopolitical and technological blockade forced out of the Indian program. Anka's design blueprint, the parameters are really bright and shiny, 25 tons of dual-engine stealth design, S-shaped air intakes and built in Bombay said the radar reflective cross-sectional area of 0.5 square meters, catching up with the early F-35 level. The promotional video even depicts the future of artificial intelligence command drone swarms, as if the 2035 South Asian skies will be dominated by India. However, between the model and reality, the Indian military industry is difficult to cross the Marianas Trench. Stealth coding disillusionment is a perfect irony, the Defense Research and Development Organization Laboratory and the success of the ultra-broadband wave-absorbing materials in Bangalore, hot and humid environment in just one week will crack and peel, even the basic weatherability or not pass. The farce of avionics integration exposes system-level flaws when the Israeli electronic warfare suite meets the Russian infrared search system. The Russian data bus and the Western processor directly triggered the fire control system to go down during the 2024 compatibility test, exposing the ills of the universal brand of equipment. Engine predicament is like a cycle of pathos symphony. Anka was forced to follow the United States General Electric F414 engine compromise program unveiled the Indian air development of 40 years of scars, Kavli, domestic engine project more than 30 years of tossing and turning, the thrust-to-weight ratio of even light-light glory fighters cannot take, and ultimately down to the drones. Power. Today, the proposals of the three bidders seem magnificent. Rollo has promised to transfer all the technology, and Safran is even willing to share all the intellectual property rights to revive the Caffrey program, but the French are still remembering their delaying tactics over the Rafale deal, while the British are pushing for the Storm 6 generation engine, which has yet to even be demonstrated in a prototype. India's Aviation Development Authority fantasizes about completing the engine test flight schedule in 2033, even the US counterparts are not sure. The most striking change in this plan is that the Indian Ministry of Defense, has opened the door to private consortiums such as Tata and Reliance in an attempt to break through the ice of the monopoly of state-owned enterprises with market dynamics. This mark against the Hindustan Aeronautics System Surgery is necessary, as a representative of the military state-owned enterprises, how 42 years to grind out not fully mature glory fighter, annual production has not yet exceeded 10. Assembled MiG-21 accident rate far exceeded the country of origin. But can the private sector really work miracles? Reality is cold to the bone never touched the fighter titanium beams of the Indian private enterprises, suddenly have to process the stealth structure parts, is like letting the street repair stall to build the space shuttle? Even more serious is the cost black hole. $1.7 billion budget in the field of defense is a drop in the bucket, less than 5% of the US F-35 research and development funds. Not to mention the astronomical investment in China's J-20. When the Indian media advocate, with four generations of aircraft price to build five generations of aircraft, special alloy supply chain of cruel data, gave a blow to the head, Anka needs 78 kinds of special alloys. India's local supply of only 23 kinds of titanium alloy inventory is not even enough to build two prototypes. Under the limelight of the Bangalore Air Show, the Anka's full-size model wing reflects India's ambition, but when placed in the Global Generation V arena, the gap is breathtaking. When the AMCA is scheduled for mass production in 2035, China's J-20 has been in service for nearly two decades, 
The turbofan 15 engine has completed its iteration, the intelligent scan and distributed optical aperture system has long been deployed in combat. The US F-35 to form a global strike network, Russia's Su-57, although stealth doubtful, but by virtue of the ultra-mobility of a unique ANCA's key indicators are lagging behind. Its RCS is more than 10 times that of the J-20, its supersonic cruise capability is doubtful, and its avionics integration is less than 60% of that of the F-35. More absurd is the sixth generation of aircraft ambition in advance of the overdraft, India's defense research organization on the one hand defined ANCA Mark II as the sixth generation of local characteristics of the warplane, while even the basic wind tunnel tests have not been completed. The British door-to-door -door sales of the storm Variable cycle engine is still in the drawing board stage, but India fantasized that the same kind of product in nine years, even the Western aviation giants are staggering. Anka programs deep value, perhaps not in the warplane itself, but in forcing the Indian military industrial system to scrape the bones and heal the poison. Former chief of staff of the Air Force law has warning deafening, our engine thrust to weight ratio is still stuck in the 20th century. While China's sixth generation aircraft has entered the test flight stage to break free from the introduction, backward ray introduction, of the dead cycle, India must crack the triple knot, break the monopoly of how to reconstruct the military industrial complex. The establishment of independent supply chain of special materials and root out corruption in the military industrial persistent problems. South Korea's KF-21 lessons near at hand, relying on Lockheed technology blood transfusion, but made even built in Bombay are not quasi-stealth aircraft. If India can use ANCA to build consensus for industrial reform, even if the project is postponed or the bid is reduced, it will be a substantial step forward. Ten years later, at the Bangalore Air Show, when the spotlight is once again on the new stealth coating on the full-size model of the ANCA, I wonder if anyone remembers that the same spotlight shone on the same spot in 2025, when it was called the J-20 killer. History repeats itself teasingly, when India launched its Shining Fighter program four decades ago, it eagerly watched the reflections on the wings of the model. The crown of the modern stealth fighter has never belonged to speculators, but only to those who have honed it for three generations in materials labs, validated it 100,000 times in wind tunnels, and reorganized it in failed supply chains. What India needs is not yet another timetable for catching up, but an industrial confessional for 2040, the day when every rivet can be produced in-house is when Anka will really take off.